has just had a nap for about an hour and a half. It's 11 o'clock and I'm going to go and get him and change him. And then we're gonna go to baby bunting and change over the gate. Um, the gate bought the wrong size extension for his safety gate that we have to put up now that he's started climbing the stairs. So, um, I've just been finishing off his music playlist for his birthday and yeah, now we're going to go and say good morning to Jetty. Hey, good boy. <laughs> I reorganized his drawers the other day. I do this regularly. Um, I reorganize his drawers as soon as I start to notice that he's um, outgrowing a lot of his clothes so he's coming up to one year old in a week or two and so a lot of his six to twelve months are getting a little bit tight on him so then I just pull out all the stuff that doesn't fit I pack it away in a plastic container all the things that I want to keep um, for the next baby you know whether it's a boy or girl we just keep it all just in case and then I put aside any things that um, need to be donated or if anything has been ruined with stains or whatever we just um, discard those anyway I'll show you the drawers so up here we have nappies I need to put some more in there this is the PJ drawer a bit empty at the moment these are the bits and pieces that we use regularly that's his eczema cream um, lotion Back here are his wool pants. Now these I'm going to talk about in an upcoming um, essentials video. These are nappy cover pants for nighttime to guard against leaks and they work amazingly well. Wipes there. Second drawer we have his main clothes. So if any of you are fans of the Marie Kondo or Marie Kondo show on Netflix tidying up you will appreciate my folding in this drawer so I've actually been organizing them like this all along since he was born but um, I did tidy it up the other day so I use labels on my compartments in here just to keep make sure everything stays where it needs to go um, and we're a bit empty at the moment because I've just done a massive wash over the weekend. So there's lots of clothes in laundry baskets. But this is an awesome system and it's just good to know that everything in here actually fits him. So there's that. Oh, and these inserts are from Ikea. And then in the last drawer, we just have swimming cozies and hats nappy uh, sorry swimming nappies extra spare um lotions and all that we've still got so much shampoo and all that type of thing from baby yeah, shower we, we do hello are you sitting up oh you're a good boy i won't be long and um plastic bags for the nappy bin yeah. thing spare wipes and something special back there so that's about it now that we've done this little tour jetty we can get you up we're gonna have some milk and then we're gonna go and get your baby gate which you probably won't like but that's what's happening okay bye guys <laughs> car is on just uh, putting it turning it on so the air conditioning can heat up sorry can cool down the car a little bit before we go and Jetty, you ready to go, baby boy? Yeah? Off we go! Off to the car. Okay, so I'll say bye now and talk to you later. Bye! We are home from baby bunting and they did not have the piece we needed in white. They only had it in black. So now, seriously, that's the third time I've been to that shop because we bought the wrong size and then I bought the wrong color and then they don't have the right color so still baby gateless 
but when I was there um, the place is in sort of um, an area where they have lots of warehouse type shops and I saw a party shop so ugh, I bought a few things extra for Jed's party and this is officially the end of my shopping for Jed's party this is a piñata um, so for Jed's party there's a lot of little babies coming but a lot of our friends have kids aged between that bracket of sort of three to ten so we do need to have a couple of activities for them to do we're having the party at a clubhouse at the end of our street and there's a pool so that will be um the main sort of entertainment but i want to have a couple more things because i don't want anyone to be bored and whatever um so that's us now we're going to have oh you're all blurry oh there you are hi so now we're going to have a clean up and then we're going to just play and it's very hot outside so we're not going to go outside we're just going to play inside and um we'll see mr chatty i hope this afternoon that the weather um cools down or that there's a bit of a breeze so we can go for a walk to the library or something like that um i'm gonna insert cool story clip of jed eating some lemon which we tried him on so a couple of random clips coming up okay bye It's been enjoying some orange. Hello, Judy. Oh, maybe we could see what he thinks of some lemon. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's a great reaction. <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. 